Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of this expression when t is equal to 1 plus root 2009 divided by 2. And we are going to solve this problem using two different methods. In the first method, we will do something that looks like direct substitution. But we won't just plug this value of t into this expression. First of all, we are going to rewrite this in a more manageable form. So what we are going to do is that we will start by multiplying both sides of this equation by 2 to get rid of this fraction. When we do that, we have 2t is equal to 1 plus root 2009. And now let us subtract 1 from both sides of this equation. We have 2t minus 1 is equal to root 2009. And of course, the next thing we will do will be to square both sides of this equation to get rid of this square root. So we have 2t minus 1 squared is equal to root 2009 squared. Of course, the square is going to take care of the square root. And here we have 2t squared, that is 4t squared, minus 2 times 2t times 1, that is 4t. And then minus 1 squared, which is plus 1. Of course, this is equal to 2009. Once more, let us subtract 1 from both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that 4t squared minus 4t is equal to 2009 minus 1, which of course is 2009. It. Now notice that all these terms are multiples of 4. So we can divide through this equation by 4. 4 t squared divided by 4 is t squared. 4 t divided by 4 is t. And 2008 divided by 4 is 502. And of course, from here, you know that we can write that t squared is equal to t plus 502. Now let us look at this polynomial. That is t cubed minus 503t minus 500. Of course, you know that we can factorize these two terms for t. When we do that, we have t into t cubed divided by t is t squared. 503t divided by t is 503. Then we have minus 500. But we have that t squared is equal to t plus 502. So what we are now going to do is that we'll substitute this for t squared. When we do that, we have t plus 502 minus 503 then we have minus 500 simplifying this we have 502 minus 503 of course is minus 1 we still have minus 500 now let us open these brackets we have t times t is t squared t times 1 is t then minus 5 100. But now look at this. We have that t squared minus t is equal to 502. So we can replace this with 502. When we do that, we have that this is 502 minus 500, which of course is equal to 2. So what we have is that this polynomial when t is equal to 1 plus root 2009 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So the last part is to raise 2 to power 5. And of course, 2 raised to power 5 is equal to 32. Now for the second method, we are still going to need this written in this form, but with slight changes. We have and we are going to make use of the remainder theorem. That is the theorem that says that 
the value of this polynomial that is t cubed minus 530 minus 500 when t is equal to 1 plus root 2009 divided by 2 is the same as the remainder when this polynomial is divided by this polynomial so what we are now going to do is that we will divide this by this and find the remainder then raise that remainder to power 5 and we are going to use the long division method so setting up the long division method we have here we have c cube minus there is no term in t squared so this is going to be 0 t squared minus 503 t minus 500 and of course here we have t squared minus t minus 502 t cube divided by t squared is t t squared times t is t cube minus t times t is minus t squared minus 502 times t is minus 502 t and now we subtract t cube minus t cube of course is equal to zero now zero t squared minus minus t squared is equal to zero plus t squared which of course is t squared now we have minus 503t minus minus 502t of course that is minus 503t plus 502t and this is of course minus t we bring down minus 500 now we go again t squared divided by t squared is 1 t squared times 1 is t squared minus t times 1 is minus t minus 502 times 1 is minus 502 once more we subtract this minus this is 0 minus t minus minus t is minus t plus t which is 0 minus 500 minus minus 502 is minus 500 plus 502 which of course is equal to 2. so you see that the remainder when this that is this is divided by this that is this is equal to 2. so to find the value of this expression we simply raise 2 to power 5 and of course 2 raised to power 5 once more is equal to 32. So we've solved this using two different methods. If you have a third method, please let me know. And you can also tell me which of the methods you prefer. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.